Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations 5 power x plus 5 power y equals to 630. And the second equation is x plus y divided by 5 equals to 1. And now we are going to solve for x and y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, second equation. I'm going to remove its fraction. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And here we can see that this 5 and this 5, they cancel each other out. So therefore, we are ended up with x plus uh, y equals to 5. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply this uh, equation one by five power x on both sides. So this is going to become five power x times five power x plus five power y equals to 5 power x times 630. Now let's go ahead and distribute these terms. And now 5 power x times 5 power x could be written as 5 power x whole square plus. And now let's recall this product rule of exponents we are going to apply over here. So this could be written as 5 power x plus y equal to 630 times five power x. And now let's focus on our equation two x plus y equals to five. So therefore I'm going to replace this x plus five by simply five. So therefore we got simply five power x whole square plus five power five equal to 630 times five power x. And now 5 power 5 is same as 31, 25. So therefore we got 5 power x whole square plus 31, 25 equal to 630 times 5 power x. Let's move this term on the left hand side. So therefore we ended up with the 5 power x whole square minus 630 times 5 power x plus 31, 25 equals to 0. And now to make our job easier, let me go ahead and do the substitution. Let me go ahead and call this 5 power x, 5 power x by u. We're going to let uh, u equals to 5 power x then our this equation is simply is going to become u square minus 630 u plus 31 25 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore, let me go ahead and tweak this middle part. I can write this thing as a negative 5u minus 625u. Therefore, we can write u square minus 5u minus 625u plus 31, 25 equal to 0. And now we can see u is in common between these first two terms and here we have a negative 625 in common between these last two terms. So let's go ahead and factor out u from here. So is this going to give us u minus 5? And here I'm going to factor out 625. And we got u minus 5 equal to 0. And now we can see u minus 5 and u minus 5 that is in common. So therefore, we are going to get u minus 5 times u minus 625 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and separate these two factors. The first one is going to be u minus 5 equal to 0 and the second one is u minus 600 
25 equal to 0 this first equation is going to yield u equals to positive 5 value and this second equation is going to yield u equal to positive 625 value but then we know that u equals to 5 power x so let's go ahead and compare these two equations so that is simply going to give us 5 power x equals to 5 and 5 could be written as 5 power 1 and now we can see our bases are same on both sides so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore x turns out to be equal to 1. Now let's focus on this uh, second equation and once again we know that u equals to 5 power x. Let's go ahead and compare these uh, two equations. So therefore we are going to get uh, 5 power x equal to 625. And now let's focus on 625. This is same as writing 5 power 4 therefore this is going to become 5 power x equal to 5 power 4 and now we can see that our bases are same on both sides so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore I can write x equal to 4 and here's our final step we got these two x values and now we are going to calculate their corresponding y values as well now let's focus on this x equal to 1 value first. Now we know that x plus y equals to 5 from this equation 2. Let's go ahead and plug it in this x equal to 1 value in this equation. So that's going to give us 1 plus y equals to 5. Now let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. So this is gone. So our y value turns out to be positive. Four. So our solution for this uh, scenario is going to be x equal to 1, y equals to 4 or simply we can write 1 comma 4. And now let's focus on this uh, next scenario when x equal to 4. We know that x plus y equals to 5. Let's go ahead and plug it in x value. So that's going to give us 4 plus uh, y equals to 5. Let's go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our y value turns out to be simply 1. So our solution turns out to be x equal to 4 and y equals to 1 or simply we can write 4 comma 1. And here are our solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.